So I was going through some books on the equestrian history of magical diseases when I came across this. Does this look familiar to you? Because it does to me. By now, many creatures out there know who Derpy Hooves is. She's a mare that doesn't need any kind of introduction. And whether you call her Muffins, Derpy, or even Ditsy, many of those creatures have developed a love for her. Why? Well, it's because of something that happened years ago. Basically, she was kind of hated by a certain group of creatures back then. But that's when creatures from your world stood up for the young mare, which all helped to popularize her. So while it's great that everyone was able to unite like that, it doesn't exactly explain how she was able to get in a book about cutie pox. So for those that don't know, cutie pox is a disease that would force a pony to gain multiple cutie marks and act out each of those cutie marks. This caused a lot of problems for Apple Bloom. So why was Derpy in the book then? Did she have cutie pox at some point? Well, I think I have a theory that may shine some light on this whole thing. See, there's one pony out there that may just be behind all of this. And that pony is Dr. Hooves. After all, Dr. Hooves was the one that was studying the effects of time. And the doctor is very acquainted with Derpy. Take that however you will but this doesn't exactly provide us with proof. Well, that is until you read into what the doctor was actually saying. Making time come forward to you. My life's work, decades, centuries really, of research and experimentation, and I really had it cracked. Turns out there's a magic spell for it. Who knew? There. He said that he spent centuries trying to bring time to him, so the one that created the pony box could have in fact sent Derpy back in time. But why? Well, first off, let's look at that moment again. Experimentation, and I really had it cracked. Turns out there's a magic spell for it. Who knew? So it's not just the mention of centuries, but it's also what he says next that gives us our answer. He goes on to say that it turns out that there's a spell for it. Interesting. Remember that Twilight was able to cast a spell that sent her back in time when she needed to warn her past self. So was it her? I don't think so. That spell never truly changed time. Every event was still set in stone, but I do know who it actually was. It turns out that earlier that year, there was a mare that was beaten by the main six when they traveled to her village. That same mare eventually went back in time to try to prevent the Sonic Rainbow, which resulted in a multiverse where the villains were in control of all of Equestria. That's right. I'm saying that Starlight Glimmer is the mare behind Derpy traveling through time. Think about this. After she was bested by the main six, she eventually made her way to Ponyville to spy on Twilight and her friends. Eventually, she overheard Twilight's rebuke of time travel. This got her to form an idea that maybe she could make the main six pay by taking away what was most precious to them, their friendship. And time travel was the way to do it. But upon finding Star Swirl spell, she realized that she needed to alter that spell to make it more permanent. So she asked around Ponyville until she came across Dr. Who's, who was more than happy to explain the inner workings of how time worked. So she changed the spell accordingly, and having realized that she needed someone to test the spell on, she turned to Derby, sending her through time over and over again until the spell was perfected so she could finally enact her revenge. This is why Derpy constantly shows up throughout history. She was just Starlight's test subject. Luckily, Derpy's cheerful attitude wasn't affected and the mare we all know and love is still her lovable self. So what do you think about all of this? And also, if you want to help support me and my theories, try joining me on Patreon so I could say things like this. Special thanks to my Alicorn and Creature Tear patrons, Princess Sam, Sapphire Sparkle, and Angel of Speed. And I also want to give a huge thanks to all of my Derpy Tear patrons, Skarmex, and yeah, the CMC do make every episode better, and Trailblazer. Woot scootaloo! Anyway, I'm Windstriker Brony, flying off until next Friday. Hoof to heart!